The TV show Lost had such a great premise and I was really into it all the way up until the final season when we found out that we weren't going to be given a lot of answers to all the questions that were raised throughout the entire series. I always felt like there could have been an ongoing comic book that could have maybe answered some of these questions. I'm in love with the hero. Comic book people of the world, have you ever heard of the comic book called Lust? If you have not guessed, it is a parody and a play on words from the TV show Lost. It's fairly unknown except by a few people. It's done by the comic book artist and writer CLX. He also goes by his first name Cyril, but CLX sounds so much cooler. I want to point out that CLX is a smoking hot artist too. So far up to this point, the first official issue is out. He does one page at a time that he releases on his Patreon site. Before anything, I do gotta say there is lots and lots of sex in it. And it's gay sex too. In this first issue, the character of Jack, who is very similar to his counterpart from the TV show Lost, wakes up on an island. Being a bit delirious and not understanding his surroundings, he comes across another character who looks very similar to Hugh Jackman when he was dressed up as Wolverine. And being a very animalistic Wolverine, he takes Jack in a very lustful kind of way. See what I did there with the whole word lust and everything? I don't want to say he forced himself on Jack in any way. It was more of a surprise that Jack allowed to continue on. This first chapter is called Jungle Fever, and it ends in the same kind of way as the first sequence ended in the first episode of Lost. It gives the exact same kind of mysterious approach as to what was happening on the island of Lost, but also adding in the entire gay sexual vibe to everything as well. With the exception of the front cover, the entire book is in black and white. I love CLX's approach to having the characters be very hairy. Wolverine is supposed to be hairy, but he also made Jack just as hairy as him. The next chapter is supposed to have a character who looks very similar to Chris Pratt, and if you know me, even in the slightest bit, you know that I am excited about that. English is CLX's second language, so at the end of this issue, he has the entire dialogue translated into French. So it was nice that he had that included. He also had at the end of this issue some sketches of Wolverine and Jack. You can tell the CLX put a lot of work into this comic book. There are even some animated videos with certain panels here and there with sound effects and everything. I hope one day that he could do the entire comic book in animated format. He can't do it on YouTube obviously, but he could do it on something like Vimeo. All in all, this was pretty awesome and hot. He draws and makes new panels and pages for his upcoming comic books on his Patreon site. I'll put links to that in the description of this video and on my website. I am absolutely going to continue on following this guy and find out where this comic book is going to lead. Besides the whole sexualness of everything, it would be kind of cool to see some of the characters interacting with Jack and also seeing some of the mysterious things happening on this island from CLX's point of view. But I'll leave it at that point. Check out his website when you get a chance. Also, check out my own personal website, my Patreon site, my social media sites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stand. I'll see you guys later. TV show Lost really didn't have that many gay characters, with the exception of Tom Friendly, or Mr. Friendly as some people call him, but still it was nice that he was included in the show, and it even showed that he went back to the mainland to meet up with his boyfriend, lover, husband, or whoever he was. So something like that being included was cool, it was a shame that he was a douchebag, or at least somewhat like a douchebag, and he was killed off.